How about a holiday musical memory where we delve a little more deeply into a Christmas tune we all know? This tune was inspired by a specific biblical verse and originally titled, A Hymn for Christmas Day. And it took a century of tweaks and changes to become the tune we know today. Luke 2.14 tells of a chorus of angels singing, and those angels singing are the inspiration and the opening line of this song. It was published in 1739 by a leader of the Methodist movement, Charles Wesley. The original opening line was, Hark, how all the welkin rings, glory to the King of Kings. But in 1753, George Whitefield tweaked the words a bit to make the opening line the one we're more familiar with. The melody to the song was different as well, with the version we know today not coming about until it was composed by Mendelssohn in the mid-1800s. And then there was one more tweak, the addition of singing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn King at the end of each verse. So let's listen to what became of it. Here's a 1912 version of the song that took over a century to get where it is today. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, performed by the Edison Mixed Quartet. (laughs) 